All right, so let's talk about polling. I told you that we would jump back over here and it would be something new. So the actions are, I right now, I'm looking at it from the teacher's perspective. I click on action and I say start a poll. It does have, oops, my apologies. Start a poll. So I have yes or no, true, false. You can create a custom poll. Okay, start custom poll. So now over on the user side, if I hop over to my students, they will get the poll over here. So you're actually asking them the question or you're posting it on a slide in front for them to see. Once they click on it, it disappears for them. You go back over and you can see what theirs are and then you can actually publish their polling results to the whole class and then they see it down here at the bottom. So that's kind of how you can get a little take. It doesn't show the students answers, it just shows you the answers, okay? Then I can go back to my polling options and I could give them a different poll. Notice that it didn't keep my um, poll over here, but if I'm over here, I can start another poll if I so choose, um, if I'm down in that area and I wanted to start another one. The other nice thing that you can do is you can, 